Hey guys, welcome back. In this class, we will know about JSON converter factory in retrofit. So, let's get started. In our previous classes, we have obtained data in string format. If we carefully see the response, then we can understand that it is actually in JSON. But we are getting string actually. So it will be very helpful to get the data in JSON or rather in Kotlin data class format. To achieve this type of data format, we need a converter factory, a specialized converter factory and that is JSON converter factory. Let's see how we can use the JSON converter factory. First of all, just copy the JSON Now, create a data class for this type of JSON You can see the data type is exactly same as in JSON and the name, the variable name also should be same. User ID here, here user ID, 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 title, title, completed, completed. It is integer, it is also, it is string and it is boolean. Now create another copy of this API. And here we will mention this to do data class instead of string or response body. Now we have to add the JSON converter factory. But for that we have to add the dependency for this. The dependency is com dot square up dot retrofit to colon converter hyphen json colon the latest version is 2.9.0. Now you have to sync. Next add the converter factory type json converter factory import this dot create and you are done you have successfully added the json converter factory also we have the appropriate api method for that now Copy the calling function. Here we will use get to do object by id. But for that we need to mention the to do data class. And this data will be of type to do.
now we will debug to check what the data type is coming here yes you can see the data is of type to do that means our json converter factory is working properly now you can get the expected data type directly in most cases we will use json converter factory because in most of our applications we need kotlin data class not raw json or string actually so json converter factory is very important let me summarize again to convert your native data type that means bytes to json or kotlin data class we have to use a converter factory a specialized converter factory and that is json converter factory and the steps to use this is to have a proper function for that with proper data type written create the proper calling method and use this way you can have the expected data type that means normal kotlin data class via json converter factory thanks for watching